So yesterday I was explaining the string methods. The string methods, the last one is substring. I was just explaining substring. What is substring? So substring is uh, basically portion of string. Basically main string you have in that a portion of string is called a substring. A portion of string is called a substring. So portion of string, why do you need? Basically, see here two, two methods, substring with int start index, substring with int start index, int end index. So same method, but with the different parameters. That's a substring means. And uh, this int start index means it fetches the characters from start index to till the end. Substring int start index, int end index means in between the range, you're getting the so characters. That's the substring means so substring so string s14 equal to java web driver right so you can give all the characters okay so you can give the index numbers you will understand right a zero is j a is one a is two a is three and w is uh, five so is space also character that is at four and uh, E six, B seven, D eight, R nine, I one, V zero, E one, R one. So like that you can just, uh, just 10, 11, 12, 13. So these are the total 14 characters are there in this. That 14 characters you can, so you can get them. So, this is how you can use a substring means how you can get the data. See, substring of five means, so from the beginning to till five. So what are all those? What you will get uh, beginning till five means Java. So the end index, the X here, the five, you won't get it. So you won't get that. The first five characters, you'll get it. So till four only you'll get it. And then get only web keyword. So the only web keyword you, you need to get it. So make sure you understand the end index is excludes. Start index is inclusive. End index plays whatever the character is there, it won't return to you. It won't return anything. It just before that before that index character only it will return to you. That's an index. That's a substring. So two categories. So are you clear on this substring? A portion of string you are going to get. Yes.
So let's execute this. So you can see here the length, you can see four characters. Then we are going to get a caret method, which is going to get a V. Because at second index, we are getting a V. And this you are printing with a, so with a two char array that is written. In. And uh, so this one is your concatenation method for Java Selenium. And uh, two uppercase, it is converting the, the same thing into uppercase. Okay, so this one, uh, then we have a is empty method. And then we have a is blank method. So then you have contains method. Then we are comparing with equals method, equals ignore case. So these are all we discussed yesterday, okay? So that's all about all the string methods. So these string methods are very important. Please practice all these methods, okay? Any questions here before going to the next topic? So we have, uh, next one is, uh, so you should understand what is a string buffer, string builder, the differences between string, string buffer, string, string builder. So we should understand that. So let's go and discuss in detail one by one, what is strings and uh, the difference between string and string buffer, string builder, what is that? So let me explain you that. So all the methods with examples I have given, you can just go through these notes. It really helps you. First, let's understand string buffer class. String buffer is a mutable class. Basically, you can create a modify the strings with the string buffer. String is immutable. You cannot uh, no, modify the string, but uh, same string you can modify with the string buffer and string builder classes. So that's the, another advantage of this string buffer class means. String buffer class is same as a string only, except it's a mutable. It can be changed. String buffer class is a thread safe. So multiple threads cannot be accessed. So simultaneously cannot access it. So string buffer it is a safe and it will be in the order. So the constructors of a string buffer is, see this is the default constructor, parameterized constructor. Again, parameterized constructor, but you will use mostly this one or this one. Any of these two you will use. 
So what are the different methods we have? In the string buffer, you have append method. It will join the two strings. So, and see, it is a synchronized. By default, uh, string buffer is a synchronized. Insert method. So int offset string is, it is used to insert the specified string with this string at the position. Basically, this string will insert in this position. Replace method. So it replaces the string in between these ranges. Delete method. It deletes the string between given two indexes. So reverse method. So it is used to reverse the string. And a caret method again. So it is going to return the character at the specified position. Length method. So it is used to return the length of the string. Substring, substring, you know, as it is, uh, that's a substring is again the portion of string. If you want to get, you will use substring. Then what is the difference between a string and string buffer? String class is immutable. String buffer is uh, mutable. String is uh, slow and consumes more memory when you can get too many strings because every time it creates a new object. String buffer is fast and consumes less memory when you can get strings. String class overrides the equals method of object class. So you can compare the contents of two strings by equals method. String buffer class doesn't override the equals method of object class. So that's the difference between string and uh, string buffer. So there is one more uh, string buffer and string builder. String buffer is synchronized. String builder is non-synchronized. String buffer is less efficient and string builder is more efficient than string buffer. String buffer was introduced in Java 1.0. String builder is introduced in Java 1.5. That's the main difference between string buffer and string builder and uh, string and string buffer. These are very important interview questions. So make sure you go through them, okay? And then we'll see the programs and the string buffer. Let's create a String buffer class. Take the main method. Okay. So create object for string buffer class. So now you see SB values, Java. So Java. So we'll use one by one. Uh, so append method and uh, insert method. So let's uh, join back after uh, this one. We can uh, use all the one by one method. And then we'll see some interview programs on strings. Then we can close by tomorrow uh, this string handling. Friday, we can start the collections. Okay.